why Daisy and Beyonce's name keep popping up around the whole Diddy thing. Well, that's why I'm here. Now, first thing you gotta know is when somebody like Diddy gets taken down, things always start out as a rumor. Diddy has had rumors floating around for like decades. Well, Jay-Z had a problem. He right there in the corner, by the way. Jay-Z has had a few rumors himself, but more like speculation. People see Jay-Z in a picture of R. Kelly, they're like, mm, I guess they both make music. Then Jay-Z with Harvey Weinstein. People are like, oh, I guess they both do business. Then, of course, Jay-Z with Diddy. Now, hold on, here's the thing. Jay-Z and Diddy go way back. Like back to the days when they were both coming up. So you could say they might just have a lot of respect for each other. But on the other hand, people are like, well, if you've known each other that long, Jay-Z, you must have known what Diddy was on. But Jay-Z has always had a history of keeping quiet, which brings us to Aaliyah. Now, I'm sure y'all remember R. Kelly dated Aaliyah when she literally needed her parents' permission slip to get married. Now, if I remember correctly, her parents got the permission slip and said, marry who? And that's how this whole thing got exposed. Now, a lot of people in the industry actually knew about this relationship because they would work with R. Kelly. They would be in the studio with R. Kelly. Now, according to Dame Dash, who listened closely, was Jay-Z's first business partner and also dated Aaliyah when she was 21. He said, this is how it went. He said he didn't want anything to do with R. Kelly because everyone knew what type of timing R. Kelly was on. He looks over at Jay-Z and Jay-Z's out here creating collab albums with R. Kelly. But then he saw why. For starters, everyone had a crush on Aaliyah. People were waiting down the clock until she turned 18. But Jay-Z decided to get a head start. Now, there's absolutely no Damn. proof that Jay-Z went after Aaliyah, but people were like, hmm. Uh, let me see another picture. Hmm. I don't know, your own hands but apparently Jay-Z wasn't successful and Dame Dash started dating her when she was 21. Now, what does this all have to do with Diddy? It's the secrets. It's the like what happened to Diddy making people wonder. Nas came out, well he technically didn't come out and say this, but while he was having his legendary beef with Jay-Z, he's doing a radio interview and he's saying, it's weird that Jay-Z be working with people that need a permission slip to marry somebody, R. Kelly. But again, rumors, kind of like what was happening to Diddy. But then this lawyer comes out and says, boy, do I got some news for y'all. And here's where it starts to get wicked. Now he's going after Diddy, specifically, listen closely, anyone that Diddy might have done something to or anyone who's watched Diddy do some of these things and stayed silent about it. Now, first of all, the lawyer's taking calls from anyone. So theoretically, anyone could just call trying to get some money saying Diddy did this to me, Diddy should pay me. But in the lawyer's defense, I'm sure he's looking for people with proof. Honestly, I don't know him, he could be trash. Anyway, what he said next is what got people interested. He said, and I got some names. He said some wild names, some names that will blow your mind. He's, he's selling this. He's saying, yo, y'all finna wild out when you hear these names. I'm not gonna say it now, but y'all finna wild out. So people are like, hmm. Now in Beyonce's case, it's just cause she's married to Jay-Z and she's been in the industry for like 20 years. People are like, you must've known something, but that's all people have. Now in Jay-Z's defense, he's famously all about the money. As far as we've seen, he's always been around Diddy for like a public event or when money's involved. And the same could be said for all the other people he was around. He could have thought, oh, R. Kelly's huge right now. Let me do an album with him to boost my name up. Many people have come out saying Jay-Z is a cutthroat businessman, kind of like Bill Gates, who I actually think is a sociopath, but that's a story for another day. And cutthroat businessmen will cross any line and work with anyone to get what they want. Because at the end of the day, to them, it's just business. That being said, that doesn't make this a good thing. That's why Jay-Z can still be prosecuted for watching crimes happen but not saying anything about it. But at the end of the day, as you probably know, Jay-Z is rich. He not going to jail for that. It would need an insane amount of evidence and even then he would still probably get off. But that doesn't really matter in some cases. A lot of times reputation is the most important thing. So a lot of times the courts will take a case they know they can't win or sign a deal just to get the rumor mill started and get people going, yo, why did Bill Cosby sign a deal? For those of you that don't know, Bill Cosby was arrested like 20 years before the big, you know, allegations came out. They told him, just tell us you did it and we won't broadcast this. He said, absolutely. I need to save my reputation. People started asking questions, boom, boom, boom. 20 years later, he goes to jail. But he actually did get out because the cops did say they were gonna keep his confession low key, but then they used it against him 20 years later. But anyway, back to Jay-Z. At the end of the day, this could go any way. The thing is, Diddy's sloppy. He was bound to get caught. Jay-Z, not sloppy. So he would be a tough one to catch. But on the other hand, the FBI is pretty good at their jobs. And remember that lawyer from earlier that's going against Diddy and is gathering all those names on his alleged accomplices? Well, he also said that he gave a lot of his information to the FBI. And if Jay-Z's name pops up, he's in trouble because how the FBI works is they'll- I ain't gonna lie, like, 
this dude was very smart. I don't know how he put the pieces together. I don't know how he got this information to explain this in, in one video, but I'm going to give this man credit, mad respect, love how you make your content. I think I've seen you on TikTok before. That's how I, I noticed your YouTube. I just figured I'd follow you because I like watching your content. Yeah, like y'all should be detective. That's what I meant to say. I kept saying that y'all are really smart. Y'all know how to find like evidence. Y'all be doing your research, be searching blogs and reading up on your information, make sure it's accurate. Before you actually make a video and then y'all start putting the whole thing in one. I like that. I really do. I ain't gonna lie to you. I respect that. I love people like that. And especially shit like this is really entertaining. I love watching this. I love watching stuff like this. It's very entertaining. But uh, yeah, that's it for this reaction video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.